I'm very lucky to be a part of the Strano Research Group for this summer. I found pretty quickly, just after a few days, that I was very interested in this thermal power waves topic. The concept of a one-dimensional thermal power wave device is very much like a fuel cell where you take the chemical energy that is stored within those chemicals or fuels and you combust them. So now basically we're just getting all of our instruments ready to uh, collect some of the data. So we have this magnetic field meter here and connected to our PC. We just have a PC interface system set up where basically when we click go, it starts recording all of the magnetic field readings it gets. Here we're measuring our strength of our magnetic field. And because the strength is dependent on how far away the meter is from the actual coil, it's important to know the distance. We're measuring the resistance across the sample and this one is 0.9 ohms. Even it's gonna align the laser to the center of the sample so that we can get a correct temperature reading of the sample as well as the fuel during the reaction. The next step would be to start off the reaction. Mark one, two, three. As of now, we're gonna document this experiment and record the uh, voltage data, the temperature data, as well as the magnetic field data. I want to you know, further our understanding of these reaction waves, these thermal power waves, as much as I can in the nine weeks that I'm here.